Hello friends, uh, good morning, good um, uh, afternoon for some people and uh, so today we are going to discuss about uh, morning rituals or morning exercises. I know everyone, uh, we all know about exercises, what we do for our body every day or after you get up from bed and uh, you know, you head out and have a cup of warm water and do all your exercises or yogas. But uh, we also should focus about our mind. Uh, so every day we should also exercise um, in the morning uh, when your mind is really fresh after you get up from bed and uh, you know you can go for mind exercises. Um, after you even go for a uh, physical exercise, you can go for mind exercises. Okay. So let's talk about what are the morning exercises, uh, mind exercises in the morning we can do for. Um, First is the exercises for calming your mind. So morning time, you know, after you get up from bed, so so it is um, uh, you know really it is uh, you know really good to have uh, uh, you know your fresh mind. So after you get up from bed, a very very important is uh, you know to um, you know calm your mind a bit as, as it's already calm. So what do you do for morning? Um, you know. Um, Calming your mind is uh, first is the breathing exercise which uh, calms your mind and uh, uh, you know what is the breathing how, how do you do the breathing exercise is uh, you know um, you know close your eyes sit down so I have a chair here I'll be showing you I you know how to do it uh, let me just a bit okay so how do you you know uh, calm your mind sit down in a place uh, you know um, you know if you can sit on any sort of a posture like some asana, the Padmasana, or some other asana, or or a relaxed position on a on a chair and uh, close your eyes and uh, start to focus on your breathing pattern. So uh, you know, inhale and exhale. Okay, so that's uh, quite important. How do you do it? Uh, you know, so I'll, I'll do it real real. Uh, quick now so that you know how to do that and then the gratitude uh, so that is another um, you know uh, exercise we do <clears throat> so what is gratitude uh, practice of gratitude that's very very important for all of us to uh, you know uh, practice on a daily basis in the morning and then we'll talk about the self-talk it's uh, more to do with mind programming and this uh, you know the following one is the success visualization okay so let's get into these uh, four and see how uh, it uh, is done. So let me just check whether you know the um, video is good. So video should be okay. Okay. So now let's get into calming your mind. Okay. So that's the first thing. So after you get up from bed, um, and before you you know, or after you get up from bed and go your do your sort of you know, um, cleaning your tummy. You know. So those things I think is that goes without saying. And uh, then after that, you better to you know have a cup of warm water and start your morning mind exercises. Uh, even before we go for your physical exercises, as yogas um, and uh, you know other sort of um, cardiovascular exercises and other stuff. Okay, so calming your mind. So I'll be sitting here. Let me see if uh, if it is okay. Are you able to see, guys? Am I, am I visible? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm just checking. So, morning uh, exercises. Um, and the first thing is calming your mind. We are going for this first one. So how do we do this? Okay. So now, uh, you know, so just sit and relax in a you know nice sort of comfy chair. Make sure that you don't fall asleep. Okay. Um. Okay. So then. Close your eyes, okay. It's a very relaxed position. That's very important. That uh, you know, you have. We'll be doing a quick exercise of relaxation. So deep breathing, deep breathe out, okay. Breathe in, breathe out. So when I say deep, means uh, you know you have to take some time to breathe in. So you know some people uh, you know can count up to four. One, two. Three, four, or you can chant your own mantra. You know, if you have one mantra, you know, whatever you want to say, you know, like uh, one, two, three, four, you can say success, okay, or winning, or whatever, you know, or any, any sort of 
spiritual practice you do, you can do that as well. Uh, you know, spiritual mantra. So, so after five breathing in and five breathing out, then you start to um, you know focus on your breathing pattern. Okay, so. So why do we do that is that is a connection we are we are establishing between our body and our mind so that means without knowing we all of us we breathe you know, every every second of our like we are breathing so what we are doing is uh, you know uh, we are just focusing on that so on the nostrils you know when when the uh, the other running notes um, so you know when you are breathing in. So just uh, focus and feel how the uh, you know, cold air is uh, getting into uh, you know, through your nostrils, uh, you know, into your into your lungs, and then hold it for some time, as long as you can, you know. Uh, so count of two, you can do that, and slowly breathe out. Again, breathing out, you can do it through your mouth or through your nose, uh, you know. So, uh, because I have a, you know, uh, sort of a clogged nose, so I'm breathing around the mouth, but you can do it through your, through your, um, you know, uh, nose as well. Now, this exercise will calm your mind as you focus more on your breathing and the breath going in, the air going in and going out. Okay. Now, the next exercise, um, you know, what we need to do is, uh, you know, so this is called the breathing exercise. So that is to calm your mind. So how, how long you can do? So you can probably do it for three to five minutes. Okay. So you can realize that, uh, you know, your mind is fully focused and relaxed and you are not thinking anything. If you are thinking about something, just uh, again focus on what you are thinking and uh, do not uh, you know, focus on very much on the breathing and just think about what you are thinking and you know, suddenly your mind will come back to your, again, what you focused on earlier, which is the breathing. Okay, so after you do that, next we will be getting into the gratitude. Okay, what is gratitude? Gratitude is uh, giving thanks uh, to the world um, or the, to the universe of what uh, you know it has given given me okay so whatever you know all of us we complain about a lot of things we do not have but we hardly you know uh, think um, and uh, you know convey our uh, thanks our gratitude to uh, you know um, to the universe to this whole world or you know to our you know sort of uh, creator what we already have okay so gratitude could be okay thank god okay for uh, you know all that i have okay so just you are you are thinking you are thanking god of whatever uh, you know you already have it may be a physical body you have a beautiful body in comparison to few, few people who do not have may not have a perfect body or you know, physical feature just like yourself okay so that is a you know, gratitude um, of your physical existence, your physical being. You, know, you have a good vision. So that's that's a gratitude. So a lot of us we uh, we all have a lot of things we can we can uh, you know be grateful of. Okay. Now you, it can be uh, you know your uh, you know your career or um, you know think about you know if something you like your career if you have a job or if you have your own business or something you have and. You are thankful for because a lot of people do may not have that. Okay, now gratitude of uh, you know your uh, uh, relationship. So if you have a spouse, uh, you know if you have children, if you have parents, fathers, mothers, if you have sisters, brothers, so siblings. So there are a lot of things you are you can convey your gratitude about because you have a lot of people do not have those kind of relationships okay those kind of people in their life who fulfill them okay in every every sort of way okay so so that's about the gratitude of uh, you know, your uh, relationship and uh, then you can convey gratitude about your uh, you know, about your health as well so if you are healthy uh, if you are feeling great uh, you know um, so 
lot of people out there actually do not have, uh, you know, a lot of the health what you have, you know, you can convey that gratitude as well. And then uh, you can convey the gratitude about, uh, you know, the, uh, the material things what you have in your life, okay. Um, in comparison to other people, uh, you know, uh, you may have a house to live, uh, you, may, you may have, uh, you know, uh, finances, uh, you know, to, you know, to run this day to day, you know, like uh, to, to, to feed yourself, okay. So a lot of things, you know, so uh, may not have other people who have that. So just uh, convey that gratitude to, to, this, to this universe, just, um, you know. So how do you convey that, uh, you know, you recognize that you know, fact what you have and you want to convey your gratitude first. And, uh, you know, just think and uh, just imagine that, uh, you know, this is something you are, you are giving back to this universe, you know, it's, it's going, you know. So this is a gratitude, it's a very good feeling which is coming out of your mind and getting into the universe, okay. So, and as you are conveying your gratitude, just feel the happiness within you, you know, feel, you know, what you have and you, whatever you are, uh, you know, um, proud of or what you have accomplished and you are happy about, okay. So that is the gratitude. So this is a very important exercise to immediately feel good about, uh, you know, yourself because we are only thinking about the positive in our life, okay. So after you do the gratitude, uh, you know, I would suggest that making a list of your gratitude, what you want to do, it could be physical, and, you know, it could be mental, it could be uh, your, um, you know, uh, wealth in your life or, uh, you know, your material things, what you have, relationship, what you have, um, and uh, passion, what you have about things. So that is, that is very important. And then, you know, after you make a list and do those so gratitude, uh, you know, for, uh, you can do it for a few minutes and then we can move on to the self-talk, okay, that's a very, very powerful and important step. All of us should practice every day, okay, what is self-talk? Self-talk, uh, you know, is um, speaking things into existence as if it is already there, uh, what you want to accomplish in life. For example, if you want to be, all of us want to be more successful, you know, in life, right? that is what the life is all about, in pursuit of happiness and pursuit of success, okay. And success may be different for different people, but um, whatever success means for you, okay. So very important is, uh, you know, we have a self-talk about what you want to accomplish in life. It could be I want to be physically fitter than what I am right now, okay. So what you are, what I need to do is to include that in the self-talk, okay. So that, uh, okay, I have, so that means you have to speak things into existence as if it is already already happening or it is already with me or it's uh, it's there so self talk okay i am already successful okay i already have uh, you know beautiful health okay just uh, you know i am successful i you know i am physically fit okay and um, you know i am uh, you know going um, you know somewhere in my life okay i'm feeling feeling energized i'm feeling refreshed and um, i can see my 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 vision i can i can see my uh, my future you know amazing future okay so self talk is all uh, powerful because when we are speaking it loud the first person we are listening is ourselves uh, to our own ears okay so that is uh, you know uh, talking about talking about ourselves so very important so um, you know combined with the self talk and followed by, uh, by uh, you know self talk is uh, the success Visualization, okay, whatever you want to have in your life is success. You have to visualize as you are speaking, okay, let's say I am successful, okay, so I am successful When you are closing your eyes and uh, you know uh, talking or speaking about that loud Then we have to visualize that I am already successful, okay um, And what does success mean to you? Okay, whatever that is uh, success in your own business You are hugely successful now the success, um, you know, it, it triggers uh, its uh, endorphin, you know, separate kind of, uh, you know, sort of hormones in your body when we have a big, you know, so big dreams, okay, or it's not small success, we are talking about huge success, okay. So, um, so let's say I'm cutting down, I want to be fit, so fit means we are should be visualizing about a perfect, hugely fit. Okay, huge fit. I'm not talking about you know, a huge body. I'm talking about fit in the sense that you are visualizing yourself to be to the maximum when your body 
you can feel the uh, sensation in your body that you are feeling so happy okay so the objective of this step is uh, you know you are bringing the future into present and living in the present as if it's already happened okay so that you are you are triggering a process uh, in our body uh, you know which um, it's called a servo mechanism okay so there are books on that as well you can read uh, you know which triggers a, a entire process in our body to accomplish to help you to accomplish what uh, those uh, you know those success meant to you okay so that's so you have to trigger that through this morning visuals or our morning exercises okay so i hope it makes sense i hope you will all of us will practice it at, uh, you know from tomorrow onwards with these rituals i know a lot of people are maybe you are on the on the road uh, you know going to your office or you are on already in the office and few people uh, you know in the for those people in the us uh, you haven't woken up yet but this ritual, I know, you know, it is a Facebook live, so you will have this information, I know, stored on your on your um, Facebook profile. So you can watch it and let's practice it so that, you know, tomorrow we'll have a better day. Okay. So with that, we are done and over and out. I'll see you then again tomorrow.